Okay, so let's look at the chances of Labour Party in oh, Nigeria. Yeah. Um, we have uh, two giants that you are dealing with, the ruling party, the APC, and of course the main opposition party, the PDP, that you are going into contest with. Uh, these are, you know, veteran politicians, if I'm allowed to use that, who have been in, in the game for a very long time. What are the chances of Labour Party emerging, you know, uh, taking that seat of power, the number one citizen in the country? First of all, Labour Party now is the only option. Because the men you just call giants, which I respectfully disagree with you, they have been in this situation since 1992. And look at where Nigeria has been thrown into by their incompetence and incapability. Let's take the issue of security. In security, the United Nations Embassy just warned Nigerians that in Abuja here, they should be very careful about the places that they go to. Public places should be very, very, very abstained from as much as possible, meaning that Abuja is under siege by an independent report of a vigilant foreign company. Your own government has not even warned you to be very careful. When your own government told you to ply the train, which they said was safe, you know what happened? More than 100 persons were plugged from that train, taken to the forest, not flown to the forest, trekked to the forest, and no intervention of any security uh, 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 agency intercepted them. They were there for eight months, burrowing like animals. Let's talk about Kujé prison that was assaulted officers killed 61 terrorists released nobody confronted them and this happened after 44 intelligence reports to this government i don't want to go on and on you know one thing when they kidnap these people they buy and sell them as slaves their people will be told what they will offer and they will negotiate on human beings in 21st century in nigeria if your heart is not broken as a woman, I'm shedding tears. 